It's so a waterfall flowing off the second story, right? Coming yeah, down, hitting there. there. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna hit the roof lines, but you know. I'm just glad I'm number two because after this, it's gonna get hard. Well, now Jack will always call you number two. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> He does anyway, right? <laughs> Much like all projects, we have developed a game plan. On this one, we are actually going to do the opposite of the way we worked with Jack. So what's your goal today, buddy? Get it all done by three o'clock. <laughs> all right, team, you hear it? All right, grab your shovels, let's get going. All right, so it is demo day. We got everybody back here. Oh, Ryan looks like he just woke up. Where's he at, right there? He's got that just rolled out of bed here. I've got some serious bags under my eyes. We are exhausted, but we still have a little bit of work left to do, which is get this canvas back to a clean slate for Alan Decker from Decker's Pondscapes out of New York to come in. In a little over 36 hours, he will be here. So we have to get this entire space torn apart and cleaned up back to square one for him. God, I'm tired. I don't even want to do it. It's such a beautiful place. Josh, isn't it almost sad to tear this all down? Are you, cry are you crying? I'm gonna go home. Well, Josh is a little bit of a softy, so he gets misty over the smallest of things. So, should we get going? Get this day over with, and all right, well, Josh is the boss. Let's get going. We're gonna get plants out, get the grass out of here so that we don't destroy anything on the way out because we are going to make one hell of a mess. Let's go, huh? Okay. We're definitely making light work of this. Matt, we're cruising right along, bud. We've got almost all the freaking plants out of here, which is awesome. And it's only been about eight minutes all right. of all of us getting together. So um, definitely helps, right, to work as a team. Many hands make light work. So what do you think? Should we, after we get all these plants out, you got you want to focus on getting the lights at least out of the landscape, right? So we're not trashing them as we go. I feel like we get everything that we can move by hand and then come in with the machine later and get all the heavy stuff. Cool. For sure. All right. Excellent. Good game plan. And we'll just keep going, work our way out. Good job. two days. Once was a beautiful waterfall. Now it's just a rock again. You had a great life, buddy. <laughs> hey, just like football practice, right? Here is Stan the man, our driver, with the entire Decker Pondscapes crew. There's Alan and there's Jason. Listen, we don't need seven people. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we get you beer and coffee, you're good to go, right, bro? Yeah, <laughs> Little different than last week with Atlanta's Water Gardens. Hello, yeah. Stan. <laughs> All right, we're ready to do this, boys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, we are back. This is the second leg of the Artist of the Year. We have Alan and Jason from Decker's Pondscapes. They were the 2016 Artist of the Year. As you can see, we've got the small army of Team Aquascape behind us. And boys, are you ready to get rolling or what? I'm ready. We gotta get yeah. going. We gotta- uh, Let's do it. Listen, we got Jack set the bar high last week and we gotta set a little higher for next week. Well, I know Greg is chopping at the bit for us to get rolling. He loves seeing everything going on. So I think he's around here somewhere, but Let's take our walk into the sandbox. I know you guys took a peek last night when you got in. So let's see. Alan's 
quite the studio back here, huh? Listen, I'm loving this. The fact that back home is just as cold as here and that we can come inside and build, and this kind of gets us rolling for spring. Yeah. I'm excited. This is going to be a blast. Well, I had, I had saw you and said, Brian, kind of your preliminary idea as far as the, the layout and the design of the booth. After being in here and laying your eyes on it, you think we're going to stay true to that, or you think we're going to... Well, everything warps. It's just like a design out in somebody's backyard. I'm going to kind of stick to, to somewhat of it, but after seeing what Jack did last week, I had one of the ideas that's going to be the same, so we got to change that up. Yep. So that plan is definitely changing. Yep. That was one of the things about Jack being the first, yep. is he was like, oh, like Jack did. Yeah. So everybody after that. So now now it's up to you guys, as true craftsmen, to modify your design and see how you can get it. Okay, so waterfall flowing off second story, right? Coming yeah, down, hitting there. there. Yep. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm number two, because after this, it's going to get a hard. Well, now Jack will always call you number two. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Anyway, right? <laughs> All right, so what do we got going on, buddy? Basically, what I want to do is we're going to do a whole sunken patio here. It's something I've always wanted to do in somebody's yard and I haven't been able to sell. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to have all pond that's going to come through here. We're going to have a set of stairs that are going to transition down. That water is going to come underneath the bridge. And we're going to have a waterfall drop down into here. When you're sitting down on a chair, I want you to be able to look at it and see the waterfalls kind of around you. So this whole section here is going to be waterfall. Plus, I want to do like a little weeping water. Wall. Like you see in nature, and the water just kind of like has a little bit of rainwater coming down cool. off the rock, and then it's all mossed out, so it just kind of keeps that wet and gives you that natural feel. My thing is, I want everything to be interactive. So coming off the deck, you're going to be able to come there, you can come down in, and then come back out. How many people can see the different elevation changes on a flat yard? And it's very hard to explain, but now that we have this sandbox studio, yep. it's going to be awesome. All right, so what's your goal today, buddy? Get it all done by three o'clock. <laughs> all right, team, you hear it? All right, grab your shovels, let's get going. Okay, so things are taking shape. Jason Allen, we're only about half an hour, 40 minutes in. We're getting there. I know it's a little slow going, but we got it. So this is that secret area, that special area that we were talking about earlier in the video. So we've got the fabric down. Next step is we're gonna get the liner in, then we're gonna start to take shape of this whole secret area. Yeah, it's gonna start coming together. And you know, you said it takes a little while to get going. It's always the way it is on a project, but once you gotta start somewhere, and then everything just starts coming together. Awesome. And then I can see we've already started working on the other section, or I guess it would be the first section of this part of the water feature, this deep stream area that we've got going. Yeah, because over in here, I want it to be, I want the fish to be able to come up to the edge so if somebody's like hanging out at that bar over there the fish can kind of swim right up in this cove so we're gonna have to use some smaller rock in this section to hold it tight so we don't lose that whole area in there I know in videos in the past and I know you you guys have done it uh, where you bring the patio out right over the top are you are you gonna do something like that or are you thinking more of just boulders along this wall skinny boulders with planting space in between or are you just gonna I, let it listen I, I know we're gonna have a time we got tons of manpower so I say we cut it in and it cantilevers over the pond love it's it it's gonna look so much better love it all right good so We've got Roy and Taylor working along with Micho getting the rest of this section clean. We're only gonna be able to go just a little bit further until we kind of get locked in. We're gonna need to set rock in here. And while Jason's working on this area over here with that excavator placed in stone, we can try and start rocking in this bottom section with this machine. So we don't wanna over dig it and go too far past the actual reach of that machine. So those are all things that we look at on a job site, determining the order of which to do things. So especially on custom projects like this, we are always thinking logistics on how we can maintain efficiency that kind of stuff. So I can see Alan already thinking about what's going on for the waterfalls that's back in that area over there. So we are cruising right along. It's great to have Micho back. We really missed him last week. I'm happy to see you. How you feeling today, boss? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Ready to crush this. You're a fucking man. You're the man. Jace, I think I see what the heck's going on over here, but explain to me now what is going on. The or explain, explain to the viewers what the hell is going on in here. Right now, here, I got a circle painted out. We're gonna build a wall about a foot tall. We have 
the wall block that we have there, and then we'll finish off the top with rock. Nice. So you're going to build up, what, about a foot or so with the block, and then you're going to lay the stone, the natural stone, on top. On top, yeah. Perfect. Give it a finish look. Nice, dude. I'm excited. So we're we're making light work of this. So I see you've got the center radius, right, so that you can start building. That, what is this, about a seven-foot diameter? Exactly. Okay. Seven-foot diameter. Sir. All right. Now, I see the bowl over here. Is that going to be incorporated into this or into what's going on behind us? No, that'll be incorporated into this. Once this is all rock, we'll have that spilling into oh, cool. Cool. the cool. Uh, feature here. The, the quote-unquote secret feature. Yeah. Awesome. So we've got some Unilock wall stone, so we're going to work on getting that wall stone in. Jason, sounds like you're bird dog in this cool project over here you've got young Jack and Corey over here I'm holding you accountable for putting these whippersnappers into shape and making sure they do what they do so I'm gonna focus back over here we've got the first element coming in for this portion of the water feature the stump may look familiar but we've done a little bit of modifications to it I love what Alan's going to do part of the effort of this driftwood element or wood element is going to be to disguise that hole back behind it so and to give him some height to be able to build off of because the waterfall that's entering into this pooling area is going to come up basically where Alan is. That What this is going to do is it's going to scale down the pole. It's going to give dimension to this pond. It'll set a peninsula coming over here. It adds a very unique element when working the rock in and around it. Oh, this is going to look slick. No, no, no. Okay, so who do we got down here? Who is that? All right, so we've got Jimenez. D'Angelo. D'Angelo and D'Angela. <laughs> No, so we've got Micho and Matt down here doing some stack stone work. Explain to me what's going on down here. We're working on a stack slate wall. So as you can see, Micho is breaking up pieces of slate to fit in. We're gonna bring this all the way up to about right here to the patio. And then we're gonna get a nice cantilever. I'm not sure what we're using yet, but we're gonna get a nice cantilever stone from off the top. So okay. Shine it up. Okay. A big reason that we're doing stack stone in here is to maintain this shape of this cove that's back into here to give this deep stream area that contour that you're looking for, right, Alan? Absolutely. You want to keep it super tight so we don't lose that turn. Good. So they're gonna bring that stack stone up, and then we'll either get a cantilevered stone or maybe bring that patio out right over the top, like we, you've seen in a bunch of our videos. But I love the stack stone work. It just adds a really nice, very very custom element to a water feature, and because it's all natural stone, it blends right in and just kind of feels great with everything else, right? Absolutely. And Alan, you've got the bottom waterfall is essentially built, and we're just gonna staircase our way back up and keep rolling, huh? Absolutely. You know what I was waiting for? You to get off the rock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this one! That one! <laughs> All right, Alan, so we just wrapped up lunch. First of all, how are you feeling with the progress that we're making, and then what are the steps moving forward to kind of finish out or fulfill your goal for the day? If we can get out of this tight spot, I think it's critical today. So I'm, I'm good with uh, the progress we made. I just want to get to over here because once we get in the wide open, obviously it's going to go much faster. So right now, we're going to start building this waterfall in here. You can kind of see how this little nook of cranny is. So if we dig out what I got planned for over there, we're never going to get here. So sure. it's important to get in all these little tight areas first. Yep. That's the most time consuming thing. Let's do it first and get it done. All right. The savior. Right. Coffee break. Can anybody guess what's in this box? What's that? Shirts. You're correct, Corey. What kind of shirts? It's a celebratory shirt. Celebratory. Yes! Jack got it. Congratulations, team, on hitting 100,000 subs. Woo! All right, Jack, there's an extra small for you. All right, there's a shirt for everybody in here, but no, fantastic job, team. I know that you guys are killing it in construction and the fact that you're also taking enough time to document your stuff for the world. Everybody online should be appreciative because you guys are the world's best pond builders. We're entertaining the world's best Aquascape Artists of the Year. And so everybody gets a shirt, including you guys, because you're part of this team Aquascape stuff. So nice. let's thank get you. after it, get a shirt for the cool. Awesome. Congratulations. All right, thank you. You're so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 100k. made a lot of progress after lunch. So Jason, I see you working on a lot of the detail stuff. So can you just quick explain what's going on over here? I can see you working on the waterfalls and you've got cans of foam and moss in. What are you doing over here? Over here, I'm sealing up um, anywhere water can run through. We want water to run through here. We don't seal up areas like this. 
the water will just drop and it'll never come over the top. Gotcha. So you're just filling the void space back behind the rocks, right? To get that water to flow the way you and Alan intended that waterfalls to look, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I love the moss. It's one of the cool things about <laughs> having moss and all this stuff is to cover up all that black or gray foam. But as you can see, you've got a little piece down in here, some pieces back in there. But what that's going to do is that's going to get that water to come over the top of these rocks and cascade the way it's intended to do when these rocks are getting set in here. So Jason, how do you feel about progress? Are you happy with it? Great today, yes. Good. Who is Jack is easy to work with? Little Jack over here? Yeah. As Jack, Jack is great. Where is he? There he is. I can't see you behind that skinny tree. Yeah, Jack is great. He mm -hmm. takes a lot of razzle through the day, but he really does work good. Well, he's the future of pond building. There we go. I don't know. Alan, any, any words? Yeah, I think we did awesome today. I really appreciate everybody's help. I think we had a great outcome. Beer 30? Really can't show it. Yeah, it's beer 30. Beer 30. It's time for a cold one. All right. That is a what? That is a 